What's up, y'all, man? <clears throat> it's King Carlos here, bro. King Carlos, bro. Back with another video. I want to speak on some shit. The little Dirk situation. Him in India. There's two things I thought of when I said when I heard the situation. Number one, shout out to Dirk and shout out to India. Really shout out to India, bro. Cause, cause to be honest with you, man, these 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 moments are important, my nigga. Like all the money and the hypergamy and. You know what I'm saying? Saying I love you and all that shit and all the sweet things and the sex and shit. That stuff is good, but in moments where your life can be taken, your freedom, or you don't have the finances that you once had, is when you really want to see, is when your girl, is when your woman gonna really show a true color. And right now his life is on the line, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? And for her to, her to grab a firearm, my nigga, and stand side by side with her man, bro, and start firing regardless of if he gets shot, if she take a bullet or not, bro. To protect their home, that they to protect the the house that they call that the house that they call a home, where their family is, that's some beautiful noble shit, bro. Regardless of how I feel about, but regardless of how I feel about Dirk's affiliations to the industry, regardless of, of anything like that, like I said, those are small decisive details that don't matter. And and in this in it, and in this situation, I'm thinking collectively, that is a beautiful thing. Second thing I thought of is they may have to move in up their security, bro. Lil Durk is a high rat. Like I'm not gonna lie, bro. It, I'm not. I know he ain't Drake or nothing like that. But for niggas to, for niggas to actually even see Dirk with the firearm and and even have like the chance to shoot him, that's that's bad, bro, nigga. And anybody that knows the way niggas, niggas these like a lot of these industry guys move with security and sprint vans and shit like that, and they move it, they move in like uh, and uh, what you what you call that shit? Caravans or cars, they move with like multiple vehicles at a time and shit like that, bro. Um, that's a red flag, my nigga. I don't know if if now, and I'm pretty sure they got the cops are gonna investigate it. I don't know if somebody paid inside that motherfucking apartment complex. I don't know if this is some boule shit. Them trying to get rid of dirt. I don't know if this is one of his Chicago ops that didn't got some money or some shit like that, bro. But that's that's a that's a huge like when I whenever I seen that they got into his house and they had a shootout in his home. That's some fucked up shit. Now, neither of them got shot, bro, but imagine if they start shooting and they just start spraying up or something and they got kids upstairs or something, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, hold on, bro. They got in your house. That sounds like an inside job. I'm not saying India or nothing like that did it, but it's not, like, I'm thinking someone, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna think it's like a deep affiliation. I'm betting that somebody been planning this shit and, they, and one of these motherfuckers that don't like this nigga whether it be, and I don't know what click it is, and I don't know what 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 group it is, bro. I don't know who this dude. I don't know who these guys ops are and stuff like that, bro. But they probably paid somebody in that in that in that community, bro, because it's a, it's a gated community. Pay somebody in that community to get in, sneak some guns, probably sneak some guns in. Ben snuck some guns in. They probably drove in, got searched. They was clean, had nothing on them, had the guns and all that shit somewhere else. Masked up, got strapped up, and came and came to his house, broke in, and started shooting at him. I just feel like that's what happened, bro. It's, it's a gated community, bro, and he's a rapper. And I know that nigga probably lives around a lot of rappers and entertainers. Usually, the artists and entertainers they all live around each other. You know what I'm saying? For this reason, for like because the higher profile, the high, the more rappers and shit that live there, the more money that the more higher security detail and shit like that they usually put around the premises because they know they got high profile people here. They don't just have guys that make money. They have celebrities with something to lose. They have faces and a name and a brand. And they have, and they're notable celebrities. They're musicians and rappers. They're rappers right now. Rap is the biggest fucking music genre. Music genre right now. It's like rap and pop culture are the same. So, I just feel like, for, how the fuck? You know what I'm saying? I was like, wait a minute, bro. I'm glad she wrote, but how the fuck did that even happen? How did they get into this nigga's house? He lives in a gated community. And DJ, I could shout out to academics. I don't know if this is the same shit that academics was talking about, but then I, I, I could have swore academics said something about this shit days before it's coming out. I don't know if it's just coming out. And it was another shooting that happened today, or if this is the shooting academics heard about and they're just not putting it out to the public. That nigga be on some, he be in the inside scoop, bro, some shit. But y'all let me know what y'all think.